mechanical ice Physics are possible. Quantum mechanics allows. Brain is capable of millions of neural nets. Cascades, biochemical, and emotional response. Molecules, brain motion. The brain does not know the difference between what it sees in its environment and what it remembers. We are running the holodeck. Whatever way we observe the world around us. So how can you continue to see the world as real if the self that is determining it to be real is intangible? Are all realities existing simultaneously? Is there a possibility that all potentials exist side by side? Have you ever seen yourself through the eyes of someone else that you have become? and looked at yourself through the eyes of the ultimate observer? Who are we? Where do we come from? What should we do? And where are we going? Why are we here? Well, that is the ultimate question, isn't it? What is reality? What I thought was unreal now, for me, seems in some ways to be more real than what I think to be real, which seems now more to be unreal. You can't explain it. Uh, and anybody who gets too lost and try, anybody who try, spends too much time trying to explain it is likely to get lost forever down the rabbit hole of mysteriousness. I think the more you look at quantum physics, the more mysterious and wondrous it becomes. Quantum physics in very succinctly speaking, is a physics of possibilities. These are questions, these are addressing questions um, um, of how the world feels to us, of, of whether there's a difference between the way the world feels to us and the way it really is. Have you ever thought about what thoughts are made of? I think some of the things we're seeing with the children today is a sign that the culture is in the wrong paradigm and not appreciating the power of thought. Every age, every generation has its built-in assumptions that the world is flat, that the world is round, etc. There are hundreds of hidden assumptions, things, things we take for granted that may or may not be true. Of course, in the vast majority of cases, historically, these things aren't true. So presumably, if history is any guide, much about what we take for granted about the world simply isn't true. But we're locked into these precepts without even knowing it oftentimes. That's a paradox. Modern materialism strips people of the need to feel responsible. And often enough, so does religion. But I think if you take quantum mechanics seriously enough, it puts the responsibility squarely in your lap. And it doesn't give answers that are clear cut and comforting. It says, yes, the world is a very big place. It's very mysterious. Mechanism is not the answer, but I'm not going to tell you what the answer is because you're old enough to decide for yourself. Is everyone a mystery? Is everyone an enigma? The most certainly are. Asking yourself these deeper questions opens up new ways of being in the world. It brings in a breath of fresh air. It makes life more joyful. The real trick to life is not to be in the know, but be in the mystery.